are so tired of the lamestream media, it's about time we get down to the real news. Get involved, get loud, and think on the brink. Well, we've been hearing a lot about Herman Cain and the Cain Solution Revolution. What is the revolution? One of the most interesting things I find about Herman Cain is that he, he not only was a man who was successful in business, ran for the highest office in the land, but also, you know, after exit in the race, well, he's still here. Can't seem to get rid of him. Herman. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Malcolm. <laughs> Happy to be here. And I'm not going away. <laughs> That's what I hear on yes. the streets. So let's talk about Kane Solution Revolution and what yes. you're doing. Because I've been on your side. I've checked. In fact, I even joined it. Thank you. By the way, you look, you look it up. You're a member of the Army of Davids the, um, that we are trying to create. You have a book coming out with that. Yes, I do. In fact, it's called 999 and Army of Davids. Can an Army of Davids win this thing? An Army of Davids started this nation. An Army of Davids will take this nation back. The more people we get active, coordinated, engaged in what's going on, I believe we can, simply by holding their feet to the fire. And the reason that I started Kane's Solutions Revolution is because the mainstream media tended to provide too many distractions. I wanted to maintain focus on how we solve problems and fix stuff. I didn't want that to go away, even though I was no longer a candidate. Yeah. And so my mission trumps the position and that's why I wanted to continue to promote these solutions. The big Washington machine yes. is not a casual program. No. Okay? I've asked leaders throughout the decades here, you know, I see sometimes some very good people go to Washington to try to fix things. Okay? Seriously. And I've asked leaders why, because a lot of times I don't see them stay the course, or I see th they say things in the campaign that they clearly don't follow through with after the fact. So, right. And I, I, and I, I re recognize there are times when I, I think they want to, but they just seem to give in. How do well, you know what these people tell me, first of all? What? It's the system, Malcolm. The system is broken. It's busted. It's a piece of you know what. I agree with that. Washington is broken. And I've seen people who go there with the best of intentions and then they get compromised gradually. I describe it as when you go there as a new senator, a new congressman, and if you are not firmly grounded in your principles, mm -hmm. one of the senior senators or senior congressmen will pull you aside. And I'm going to use the southern drawl since I grew up in the south and say, young man, let me tell you how things really work around here. If you want to get anything done and if you want to get reelected, mm -hmm. then they resist. But then when they can't get anything done, they start to compromise and give in a little bit. The only way to stop that is with the people holding their feet to the fire. That's why I started Kane Solutions Revolution, and that's why you have so many other grassroots organizations out there. How many members right now do you know in Kane Solutions Revolution? We have over 400,000 members right now. Wow. Sign up at, at HermanCain.com. HermanCain.com. And, and the mission ahead is just to keep getting people involved? And yes. Where do you go with it? The mission ahead is to uh, pass 99, get 999 to become the law of the land, continue to promote energy independence by emphasizing and ed educating people that we have the resources right here, removing some of the regulatory barriers, uh, continue to emphasize the fact that we can't be, keep spending like this. We've got to grow this economy in a robust manner, and we've got to stop and then reduce the spending. Those kinds of issues we have to continue to promote because some people have been beaten down so much, they don't think that we can do this. That's what the people that are part of the status quo want people to believe, that we cannot do this. I'm out there sp spreading the word that we can do this. Yeah. We the people can do this. Well, you've created quite a revolution obviously, and I credit you with that, with Thank staying you. in the race. And you have stayed in the race, really, yes. at this point. It may not be the presidential race, but it at least is a race for victory. Engaging, engaging more people, getting yes. more people involved in the process. Again, I find that people have pulled themselves out of politics. Politics yes. has become so polarized in our country that we're not getting people more involved. I think we've discouraged people from oh, being involved in the process. Definitely. And one of the comments that I get most often after yeah. I got out of the race from other businessmen, 
they said, what they did to you is the very reason that I may never run for office. That's not a good thing. Exactly. That is not a good exactly. thing. Exactly. We are going to have to change that. And the way we change it is holding people's feet to the fire and not allowing those kind of tactics to be used to discourage really, really good people. Yeah. Last couple of thoughts with you. The, the, uh, the scandals we're dealing with right now, the Secret Service scandal, uh, the GSA, the Afghanistan corpses, all the, uh, the, 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 the travesties that are going on right now. Thoughts? My thoughts are it's unfortunate. Uh, it's, they're tragic. Uh, I had Secret Service protection for a while when I was ahead in the polls. And I happen to believe that the scandal associated with the Secret Service is an aberration. It is not the norm because of the people that I've worked with directly. Okay. And if you look at the history and the reputation, uh, the, the situation in Afghanistan, you've got young men who, and I'm not making excuses for them, no, that was, that was something that they should not have done. But you got young men who saw their fellow soldiers killed and blown up by these people. And so in their exuberance, they did something stupid. OK, so you're going to have these situations that are going to be aberrations because people don't stop and think about what the ramifications might be. So it's, it's a tragedy. But those kinds of things happen. So you, you think that may have been an isolated incident? I do. I happen to believe that it may have yeah. been an isolated. And incident. the GSA, do we abolish them or keep them? Abolish the GSA along with the EPA and along with the Department of Education in order to start cutting the spending. The GSA. Now, their true colors came through. There's absolutely no excuse for that, and I think that we abolish the GSA, and here's why. If you look at all of those other agencies, they are supposed to be responsible enough to do the job for the American people and they are not doing it. Well, they're about cost minimizing. Yes. For folks who don't know, in 1949, they came in through the Truman era. This is an agency now today that is about cost minimizing and reducing government waste. That is 12,000 federal workers strong, by the way. Yes. With an operating budget, do you know how much? $26 billion. That's ridiculous. And they, they deal with the procurement of dollars they deal with. How about $66 billion? This is no small little government department no. down the hallway. Right. I have, look, the problem, the problem that we have in Washington, D.C. is that there's too much of that. And some of it we never even know about. Right. I have one other one that I want to abolish. It's called the IRS. Oh, man, give me five brothers. Woo! Did I you like know, that. <laughs> did you know that in 2012... That's 999. <laughs> it's, in 2012, the IRS is now 99 years old. In 2013, is that right? Is that right? it'll be 100 years old. And I have a birthday present for the IRS on its 100th Death. birthday. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that one we need to get rid of. Is it possible we might, we might ever get a, 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 a tax reform, for real tax reform? I mean, you, you're the master of 999. Replacement. I don't even use the term tax reform anymore okay. because they keep talking about okay. it, but nothing ever happens. So will they talk replacement. about tax replacement? Replacement. Tax replacement. Tax code replacement. Yeah, I don't think they get it. The, uh, they don't get it, yeah. but the American people get it, and this is why from the ground up, from the bottom up, through the grassroots, we are going to replace the IRS and take back our power yeah. from Washington, yeah. D.C. Well, I think a lot of people would applaud that very clearly, because as you mentioned in I-99, there are a lot of reasons. Yes. The problem is the president right now is playing with class warfare with the Buffett rule, of course, which you yes. spoke about on your site yes. and in other means, right? Yes. It's pretty amazing. It is one of the divisive factors that the president uses to divide us. And the thing about the Buffett rule is it's a joke. Yeah. You know, I talked about what a trillion dollars is. We are in $15 trillion worth of debt. The Buffett rule might generate four measly billion dollars. But here's the thing. Under the current system, he hardly does pay in the taxes, and he pays less than his secretary, right. according to what President Obama likes to say. Right. But on the 999, Warren Buffett would pay $200 million a year in taxes. You want to tax the rich, 
put in 999 and get rid of the tax yeah. code. Well, well said. And, you know, we all, the one thing about you is you branded 999. As a brander, as a marketer, I get that. You understand You that. branded 999 <laughs> very, very well. So, Thanks. anyways, thank you for joining me again. Thank you, Malcolm. Appreciate it. Thank you Kane Solution Revolution. And, again, HermanCain.com. You can find it there again. I don't think he's going away anytime soon. It's exactly. Malcolm out. <laughs> Remember, get involved, get loud, and think on the brain.